With the end of 2023 came the demise of Hyperloop One, and for some, the end of the futuristic tech's potential to disrupt commercial high-speed travel. However, many players remain in the game, including Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, or Hyperloop TT. Founded in 2013, the Los Angeles, California-based company is a global team of more than 800 engineers and technologists spread across 52 multidisciplinary teams with 50 corporate and university partners. Hyperloop TT uses a collaboration-based model, which enables it to work with talent and organizations around the world in exchange for stock options. CEO Andres De Leon believes the strategy has helped quickly establish inroads with leaders in the industry and government, as well as reduce costs as part of a long-term approach to bring Hyperloop to life. Well, this week, the company announced a new joint venture that could lead to the world's first operational commercial Hyperloop system in Italy. Hyperloop TT is the designated technology provider in the venture known as Hyperbuilders with a pair of Italian industrial companies. We build the project lead and the largest Italian engineering and general contractor group, and Leonardo, one of the world's largest multinational companies specializing in aerospace, defense, and security. Hyperloop TT teamed up with WeBuild and Leonardo because they thought it would strengthen their credibility with the Italian government. Looks like it worked. Hyperloop TT will lead the design work and implementation of its patented technology to design and build the system. Rena, a firm that builds businesses in transport and infrastructure, is also part of the joint venture. In May 2023, Hyperbuilders found out that its bid for a tender issued by Italy's regional highway operator, the Venetian Motorway Concession, had won. The project, which is budgeted at 800 million euros, which is about 865 million US, calls for a Hyperloop prototype a little more than 20 miles long, from Padua province to Maestre, Venice. Following phase one, which includes a feasibility and environmental study, the tender includes two other phases, a detailed design and engineering phase and a final phase for construction, testing, and certification. The system will then be expandable to fully connect the cities. Hyperloop TT believes the hyper transfer project could reduce heavy traffic, decrease traditional transport times and energy consumption, improve road safety, and enhance the interconnections between transport systems and cities in the local area. Hyperloop TT CEO says, quote, this is the moment Hyperloop TT has been working towards since 2013. He hopes this can be the first of many Hyperloop systems around the world. And let's hope it goes better for Hyperloop TT than it did for Hyperloop One. The contract's duration is six years, and De Leon says the company plans to have a fully functional system up and running prior to the end of the deal. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now.